Hi guys, this is Thunderscape Films, and this is a tutorial on volume and panning in GarageBand. So what you want to do is open up your GarageBand project. I already did that. Then you select the track you want, which is the only one I have open, and you hit this button right here. So you click here, and what this does, you make sure volume is selected, and then you can add double click to add points I'm gonna do this and you drag up on a point to increase the volume drag down on a point to decrease the volume so I'll put that right there and let's see if we can hear the difference so as you heard there the volume goes up as the slider goes on. So the next thing is panning. So you go here and you select pan. You click in the middle and there's your pan line. So you double click to add points like that, except with this one, when you drag down on a point, the sound moves to the right. And when you drag up, the sound moves to the left. So I'm gonna set this here. And you can hear this better on headphones, but it should be fine with normal speakers. So if you have stereo speakers, you should have heard that change. If not, well then not. And with this, you can do a lot of different things like echo, reverb, amount, low, mid, high, ambience, mid, and all the other ones and these. There's a, there's a lot of options. But it's pretty self-explanatory and that's all I'm going to do for today since you can figure out the rest. It's exactly the same like this. It just changes something else and that'll be it thanks for watching goodbye